This video is part of a larger course on Mediasoup, and I will drop that link in the description, but it should give you a good idea what, uh, what Mediasoup is capable of in a basic way, and then you can start to, to imagine how you might tailor it. In this video, I'm going to demo for you what we are about to make. It's a huge upgrade from the basics. I am really excited about it. We have a full-featured video conferencing app. And, and yes, uh, it's not that full-featured, as you can tell from the UI. It looks like I made it because I did. <laughs> uh, there's always more that you can add to it, but it, it, it's such a big step up. What we did in the basics was not practical. This is going to scale. We've got, uh, we've got a dominant speaker feature. We're here in the middle. We'll have the, the person who most recently was identified as the dominant speaker, and then we will show the four people after that, that person uh, who were most recently identified as the dominant speakers. No one else will show up. So, so scale is in mind here. Even if you had 5,000 connected users, you're only ever going to be consuming five feeds. And the same thing for producing. If you are producing, but you are not in this most recent five, you won't be sending your feed up. We'll pause it and, and the server will likewise pause. So a lot of things to think about when you're making an app like this, especially if it needs to scale, we can control a lot of that stuff and make it so much more performance, so much better for the user, even before doing, doing simulcast or anything like that. This is coming after I finish the project. So you are literally looking at code that we are going to write. The, the repo is exactly the same with the exception uh, I have deployed it uh, up here. That, that URL won't be live, it's just for, this, uh, just for this video. But in order to deploy it, I had to make some changes to the configuration file so it will work on a network but it is exactly the same thing so that uh, you, you know that it, it does work. We are doing rooms in this one. So you, you have to join a room, that's not optional. In the first one, which wasn't practical, uh, there were no rooms and there were only two users. In this one, I'll put in here room one. Uh, and then we get over to the user. This is how you will identify yourself. When you click join, one of two things can happen in something like this. And this is just sort of helping you see the, the roadmap in front of us. It could be that there are already people here. And as I said, the, the big window, we will immediately start consuming up to the five most recent speakers. And this, this one will have the current dominant speaker. Uh, and that is a feature that's built into Mediasoup. It's actually ported over uh, from Jitsi as of the making of this, this video. But uh, we don't have to do anything. It's already part of it. Uh, and then they will subsequently, if we have up to five, show the, the other four up here. We have to be ready on load as soon as I click join room to start consuming from, uh, from other users. I am going to hit join and then mute it really quickly here. Okay, so you are seeing phone Rob, and, and I, I can't hide my green screen anymore. Uh, and two, I always hate this. I never know which one to look at, my, my uh, webcam or my phone. This is part of being a WebRTC guy. If I click feed on, uh, you're gonna see uh, my, my current feed. Uh, I, I'm going to send this feed after the fact, and you can hear my phone and I muted it. So we've got phone Rob here uh, and then my feed down here. If we join another one, this will be room one and this will be a Rob three join. Great, we, we've got uh, both of these feeds coming through. We still have the video uh, from the phone working and then we've got the one from the, the PC working. If we turn the feed on here, we send this one up once again need to mute it because we get we get feedback there as well. Uh, but this is the first Rob. This is phone Rob. Undefined there is a, a, a looks like there's some, maybe a few small mistakes uh, in the usernames. But back over here, the phone still works uh, and that one works. And, and the point here is that we could go up as many as we want. As I said, if we get past five, we those those uh, those feeds beyond will not be passing up their bandwidth, which is, is gonna help us scale. We won't be pulling anything down that, that we are not currently needing to consume. So again, just those top five. This is a really cool feature that is pretty essential in almost any video conferencing app or if there's a chance that you can have more, uh, more than one person talking. And I will, uh, I'll unmute my phone here quick. Test. Test. And immediately mute it again. You can see uh, it has switched back over to this one. Uh, if I unmute here, test. Yes and mute again real quick, hop back over here, it's back to, to Rob3. So th this is, is going to be most of what you're going to need to do whatever you want. If you just wanted a, a Twitch clone or something like that, um, I'll probably make one at some point in, in React and give you a big, a big version. But right here, you just have one uh, producer, everybody else, if nobody sent their feed up, 
That's exactly what you'd have. You'd have a thousand people pulling this feed down. Um, we, we did it with scale in mind. We practiced a lot of the same stuff. We use classes in order to organize our rooms. Every room has its own router. And I guess I should show you that quick. We'll join a, another room. We'll do room two and we'll do Rob to and join and of course there's nobody in this room meanwhile come over here the phone and everything is still connected <laughs> you get the idea back to normal here uh, I know it's a little bit awkward and, and kind of bouncing around from tabs and things like that but I want to make sure that you can see that it all works and that we uh, and the types of features that, that we are adding to this. This is going to be a fantastic project. It should take you a long, long ways in your understanding of MediaSoup and in, in your ability to make a, a, a video conferencing app.